Sri Lankans on unexploded ordnance identification, as well as IED procedures and booby trap hazards, as well as humanitarians and mining operations. Uh, they just got out of their, their 30 year civil war, so we're working on teaching them safe methods of dealing with all the hazards that are left over from the war. Since Sri Lanka is, is, is riddled with minefields, we have a humanitarian demining program that, that American EOD techs are trained on. It, it involves the International Mine Action Standard, which is a, a global standard that is enforced in reference to safety demining procedures. It's the move. If you find one, you have to, you have to detonate it where it is. Our job is to come over here and, and help cross-train with the Sri Lankan Army. For, for hands-on uh, work, we've been, we, we went and looked at where they're storing all of their ammunition to make sure they're storing it safely. Uh, you know, there's no hazards associated with, with, with mixing the wrong things you're not supposed to. They do a great job. They have a lot of experience with minefields. Good to share experience with them. Along with PACOM, 18 Medical Command is the lead unit for the Humanitarian Mind Action Program, which consists of multiple components. EOD has no medical assets on site when they are working with the D miners. So we're teaching the Sri Lanka Army how to prevent injuries while they're on site. So we're here as part of providing the training where their, their Army Corps of Engineers is learning about how to provide basic life-saving medical skills to their own um, soldiers. So we were able to teach them chest compressions, breathing assistance, and what to do in a situation if somebody is choking. And we did the uh, IV starts, uh, and we were able to do that with the simulated arms that we have brought with us as training aids. Where the spongy part is, it's, it's going to be soft and spongy, but it is very important for them to learn hands-on technique, and they just love that. We got about 35 minutes till tea time, so. All right. Um, I think it's amazing because we've gone from classroom work to practical work, and it's going to culminate now, today, in about an hour and a half with a mass casualty exercise where the Sri Lankan engineers, uh, working with some of their fellow uh, engineers, are going to have a mock disaster where they're going to respond to uh, a, an explosion and they're gonna test every bit of the training that we've been able to share with them. Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! Go, go, go! The head medic, who actually was the first one to come on the scene and interact with the D minor guy who saw what was going on. So the head medic now is putting everybody in their perspective places and pretty much overseeing what's got to go on. The mining mission is absolutely critical to Sri Lanka. This uh, area, of course, had years and years of conflict, and they've got contaminated areas uh, that otherwise would be useful for their people. So they're going out and removing the mines, and therefore the Sri Lankan people can go back and resettle areas that are currently unusable. So they can go back and farm, they can use their lands that they're used to. And uh, I think it's overall a fantastic effort to return Sri Lanka to peace and, and prosperity. Even though we look different, we wear different uniforms, it, I think it's wonderful because we approach patient care very similarly. We don't speak the same language, but we are really uh, working together. I think it's just amazing. Yeah. Yeah.